Uh, this is my Ring camera doorbell. I've had this thing for I think like three or four years. Now, when I first got it, I was using the uh, the, the the battery, and I would um, you know to power it, and and I'd have to charge it uh, maybe once a month. But after a while, it <laughs> it got more frequent, and so that's one of my Echo flexes there. Um, anyway, it has a motion detector on it. Um, and so does the Ring doorbell. It, it detects motion as well. And I use the uh, Alexis platform to set up all kinds of routines and whatnot. But this Ring doorbell, I've tried a couple of others because I thought, you know, I was having issues with uh, the battery lasting. Uh, eventually, I was able to purchase a, uh, a, a plug that has a really long cord on it, okay? So that I was able to um, actually connect that to the power and then down, um, I mean, to, to power the, the doorbell and then down through uh, a, uh, a conduit tube to a regular uh, outlet on the wall. So now this thing always stays charged. The battery's still in there, but the way it works is that it's just constantly charging the battery. Um, and it's been working for about a year now. It's really awesome. Um, I'm very happy with my ring doorbell uh, and my Echo Flex and motion detector. <laughs> I should show you that thing. They don't they don't make the Echo Flexes anymore, uh, but they do make the motion detectors that plug in as a USB port. They do still sell these. Now you can find the Echo Flexes on um, you can find them on other platforms, but you won't find them on. Amazon. They they don't make them anymore, uh, which is a shame. I really like them. So anyway, I'm very happy with my Ring doorbell. Had it for a few years now, and I highly recommend it. Um, anyway, link in the bio.